Hi everybody, I'm going to be doing a different video today. I went to Lush yesterday. Um, it was completely unplanned, but I planned on going, but you know, I went into town, got some stuff, came out, so I decided to show you what I got. Um, I only have three things that I've used before, and the rest of it is completely brand new. No, sorry, four things that I've used before. And the rest of it is completely brand new. But the first thing, the first two things I purchased that I've used quite a few times over the years. Um, let's see, I love Juicy Shampoo and the American Cream Conditioner. I have oily and thick hair. And yeah, I love Juicy Shampoo works really well for my hair type. This has mangoes, papaya, kiwi, pineapple jelly shampoo to blast through grease and make oily hair bouncy and clean once more. What I like about this shampoo more than the ones I've used before is I can, I, you only really need to wash your hair with it once. If I wash my hair with this twice it just becomes a little bit too dry if that makes sense. But with other ones I'm using, um, another one that I like is the Alberto Balsam Green Apple. That's really really cheap. But I, I wash my hair with it twice. This only do do it once. It's a very salty and fruity smell to me. And then the other thing I have is the American Cream Conditioner. This is light enough for my hair. Um, I don't like using a lot of um, really thick conditioners because I do have oily hair as well. But not only that, my hair is quite thick and if I use thick conditioner even though it gets into the it penetrates the thickness it makes it feel really heavy and the American cream does not do that and this is a strawberry loving milkshake scented cheerleader for silky Hollywood hair warning has been known to bring boys to the yard that's funny but this doesn't really smell like strawberries to me it smells more like white chocolate and vanilla. Really sweet. And I think that these two both have a very good, uh, they pair really really well together for my hair type anyway. So that is the I Love Juicy and the American Cream Conditioner. I enjoy both and both of these are the 250 gram bottles. Put that up there. The next thing I purchased, which I've already used before. This is the Sleepy Shower Gel. I really like this. This is Sleep, Drift to Sleep, Sweet Tonka Counts the Sheep, Lavender Shakes the Dreamland Tree, and From It, from it Fall, Sweet Dreams for Thee. And I, whenever I'm off and not doing anything, I tend to shower more at night than during the day and because I have sleep problems like it's just I just can never stay asleep this really helps to me it smells more like Tonka than lavender if it smelled more like lavender I really wouldn't enjoy it because pure lavender gives me a headache but it's such a calming smell and it really lathers up very well. I would put it more on in the shower cream section more than the shower gel mainly because the consistency is a lot thinner than a gel and Lush shower gels are very very thick. This is more on the liquid side but I enjoy it and it does what it's supposed to do. It lathers really well and the smell lingers on the skin. So if you have trouble sleeping or if you want some eat in sleeping or you want some relaxation, Sleepy is a really good, really good uh, pick. Uh, the next thing I got, I think everything else is like brand new. So I got this hair treatment. I've never ever used a hair treatment by Lush before and this is the Roots hair treatment. This is the Root to Mighty Fine Hair. Fine hair needs careful looking after. 
This treatment is packed full of ingredients to revitalize from root to tip. And you use this by dividing dry hair into sections, apply onto the scalp and roots. Massage scalp for 15 to 20 minutes while the product gets to work. Then simply shampoo out and lightly condition if needed. That's cool. With three kinds of mints to stimulate the scalp and hair follicles, olive oil to give condition and strength, honey to soften and soothe, and nettle absolute for shine. We've topped this off with a delicate perfume containing sweet orange oil and aroli and grapefruit, all, um, all known to be cheerful and uplifting. So yeah, I, one of the, um, the girls at the shop asked me what was I looking for and I said I wanted a hair treatment for oily hair and she recommended this one. So they have different kinds. They have Marilyn for blondes. They have Busan Wenwa, I think that's how you pronounce it. That was really, really nice. To me, it doesn't... I don't really smell any of the orange oil or the neroli, I just smell the mint. And that's what drove uh, drove me to this one. I'm excited to see how this works. But I don't use treatments often. Because again, I have oily hair and so if I over... A lot of treatments are moisturizing and I don't need re -moisture, like moisturization, I just need care if that makes sense. So this one will probably be using it every two weeks, maybe three weeks or so. If you have drier hair you probably use it once a week. That's Roots. I'm excited to try that. That looks like a lot of fun. The next one I have, the next thing is this. This is called Odie Creamy Dreamy Oat Milk Shower Cream. Breathe a sigh of relief and reach for the soothing, cooling oat milk wash. Lavender, rose, and benzoin will bring peace and confidence in troubled times, helping you feel comfortable in your own skin. So this is basically a... It's like shower gel, but it's like shower gel and a lotion mixed together, but you use it in the shower and you rinse it off. I like shower creams more than moisturizers because, again, you can... Rinse it off, and you don't need to worry about it sinking into your skin. But it's like a green color. Very, very light green color. And it smells exactly like Dream Wash, and I don't know whether it's a rebranded Dream Wash or not. I'm not too sure. But like way back when, my grandmother used to use it because she has... Um, I don't know what it is. It's kind of like psoriasis on her foot. And every time there's like any type of stress or annoyance, she scratches and scratches and it helps her. So, um, but I don't know whether or not this is the same thing, but rebranded. It smells really, really lovely. It's very relaxing. It really does smell like, it does smell like lavender and the benzoin. It smells more lavender than the sleepy, in my opinion. Really, really calming. Oh, I'm gonna be, it's gonna be fun using this. And I like the colors kind of cool too. But we'll see how this goes. I don't use these often either. Because again, you don't want to make your skin too moisturized. Just in case you break out. Okay, the next thing I got is this. Scrub, 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 shower, scrub. I like shower scrubs. I really, really love shower scrubs. Um, I remember using, way back when, the scrubby. That one's really, really nice. It smells really good as well. Very honey uh, smelling. Really fun to use, but really, really slippery because you hold it in your hand and it's, and it's quite slippy. And I remember using... Buffy exfoliating as well. That's very, very rough though, and again, it's quite um, slippery. So it's kind of like the Scrubby and the Buffy are scrubs and moisturizers built into one. So you need to be really careful when you use them because they're very slippy and 
now that I have like a walk-in shower, not a bath, it's like more, it's more likely for me to slip and fall. So this is the Scrub 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 one. They have um, Mamma Mia, I think, which is a pink one. And I think they have another one that's blue. I think it's, it's more like, like whoosh. If, you, if you're familiar with the shower jelly whoosh, I think it smells similar to that. But this is crack the pot of dark crystals. Open and scrub up with fine sea salt, blackberry puree, and powdered charcoal. This is a scrub that sets the bathroom alight with magic. Oh, magic crystals. That's the, the third one. It's like a purple color. And this straight up smells like my like black currant. And not the Ribena black currant, but actual black currant, and it's really cool looking. That's what it looks like inside the It's very thick. Oh wow. I'm gonna be excited to try this, but this is a body scrub, not a face scrub. So I'm excited to try this because I really enjoy scrubs. Another one, another product I enjoy from Lush are their shower jellies, but I didn't buy one. So, um, I really enjoy Woosh, and there's another one that smells like black currant. I forget what it's called, but another um, face scrub that I kind of that I purchase is this. This is cup of coffee, face and body mask. I'm not sure if it is a scrub or it's just a mask, but it says take a shot to the face with stimulating caffeine and exfoliating coffee grounds. So that looks like a lot of fun, and I've got the smallest one. Oh wow. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It really does look like coffee. As well as a coffee too. I hear the taste of coffee, I can't stand can't stand it, but I love the smell of it. I think this would be really great to use. Okay, so you smooth the generous layer onto your face or body and leave to sink in for 15 minutes. Then rinse off, massaging the scrubbing coffee grounds away. I'm going to have a look at how this actually goes before your uh, face. I think I would more so use it on my body, but we'll see how it goes. But, oh, it smells like hot. I love the smell of coffee. It's very warm and rich. This would be great um, to wake yourself up. But it's also really great in the autumn and winter time, too. This is nice and warming. The scent, the scent of coffee just goes anytime, anywhere, really. So, the next face product I purchased, and the last face product I purchased, is this tea tree water toner. I've never tried this before, but I'm running out of my current toner, which is just simple toner, so, and I thought, why not I try this instead? And it says, come to the aid of skin that has emergencies. Tea tree is a wonder antibacterial, a antiseptic, and antimicrobial ingredient for anyone with oily or spot prone skin. And that is exactly what I have. And this has some grapefruit water in it as well, juniper berry water and tea tree water. So this one's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, it smells really nice too. I, I can imagine um, putting this in the fridge and spraying it or taking this with you. I'm not sure if they have a salt one, um, a salt spray for it for the skin because I know that they're very, very refreshing as well. But I'm excited to try this too because I do like... Anything with tea tree in it helps <laughs> with oily skin. Alright. Nearly finished. I purchased this American Cream Shower Gel. This is cleansing fresh strawberries and uplifting fresh orange juice to go together like Rama Lama Lama Ka Dinga Da Dinga Dong. Smell fresh forever. A shoe bop, sha wada wada yippity boom de boom. Oh right, grease. I get it now. Okay, took me took me a while, but I got it. I don't really watch Grease. I don't really care for the movie. Oh, it does smell exactly like the the uh, conditioner. 
Because you know when um, they released Honey, I Wash the Kids? It's it's Raining Men. It smells just like Honey, I Wash the Kids soap. They were kind of different. But this smells exactly the same. It's a little bit more Tonka in there though, rather than vanilla. But yeah, I'm excited to try this. This will be a lot of fun. Because I do like the way it smells. Again, it's really, really sweet. And it's not bad. I think this is limited edition. I'm not too sure. Hopefully not. I don't think they would, but you know, Lush are great for discontinuing things that are, uh, what's the word? Best selling? Yeah. I know that they discontinued the comforter shower cream. Because I don't have a bath, I, yeah, that, that pissed me off. It really pissed me off because I really, really love that stuff. The last two things I purchased are two soaps. Um, the Milky Bar Soap. I've had this before. This is really, really great. Uh, this is already pre-packaged as well. I usually try and get the ones that are already pre-packaged. But let me see if I can open it. But I remember this used to be a um, online exclusive. Because I got this ages ago. Like back in 2016, I think. And now it's uh, you can buy it in stores. And I'm really happy with it. But now the shape has completely changed. It's actually shaped like a milk bottle. And it smells like bergamot. Oh my goodness, and powder. It smells like, it's really, it really does smell like baby powder mixed with bergamot. If you're familiar with Jo Malone, they have a, they make a cologne called Earl Grey and Cucumber. It smells like that. And whenever I had the old one where it was just shaped like a, like a, a standard soap, I would use that and then I would spray that, that cologne on top of it and it blends in so well. Such a lovely, calming smell, and I love anything that calms me down. Any aromatherapy, it works. I, I adore it. Let me see if it actually describes anything. It does not describe anything. Okay, because usually they, um, they'll say, oh, this smells like this, or this smells like that. It doesn't actually say that on the sticker. Which, oh well. Can't win them all. Alright. And the last soap I purchased, and this is brand new for me anyway. I don't know if it's... I've seen this ages ago, but I don't know again if it's limited edition, if it's for Easter, Mother's Day. I don't know. Even though Mother's Day was back in March uh, in the UK. We celebrated in March. But this is the Raspberry Milkshake Soap. If I can open it. There we go. And this is what my bar looks like. That's cool, isn't it? Oh, and it smells like raspberries. It really does smell like creamy raspberry. I decided to try it. Hopefully none of these soaps are very slippery. Because I know uh, not all of the Lush soaps are slippery, but the Rockstar one is a pain in the ass. That's really slippery. Basically it becomes rubber when it gets wet. This one smells really nice. If you like the smell of creamy raspberries, you're going to really like this. It does smell like a milkshake though. That makes sense because really, you really do smell the milk in it, if that makes any sense. So that is everything I purchased. So I'm going to, it's going to be exciting to try them all out. Especially the hair treatment. That's the thing I'm excited, the mo the excited for the most. Because I never ever purchased a treatment from Lush before. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it wasn't too long, 19 minutes. I did alright. <laughs> So thank you for watching. I might do a review on the hair treatment, maybe, um, but have to be have to use it for quite a while. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, everybody.